Nice hair. I love that mohawk. All right, good morning. Good morning. All right, I have a challenge for you. How many of you have ever taken a really deep, or like a really amazingly huge breath and held it? Have you done it before? Yeah? Well, we're going to do it this morning. And I'm going to do it with you. And I'm going to count you down. I'll go three, two, one. And then I'm going to ask you to breathe in and then hold it. And we'll see what happens next. You ready? Okay, here we go. So we're going to take an amazingly huge breath after we count down from three. You ready? Three, two, one. Breathe in. And hold it. All right, now that you're full of air, without letting go of the air you have, I need you to try to breathe in another huge breath. One, two, three, go. Okay, you can go back to breathing like normal. All right, so what did you think? Was it easy to do that big breath, or was it hard? Uh, it was hard. Why do you think it was hard? <laughs> yeah, so the first time you started going, because <laughs> it was a big breath, and then you didn't feel like you had much room for that second one, huh? Yeah, so, so why do you think it was hard to take that second big breath? Because your lungs were already full. Yeah, we were already full of air. So what do, you, what, what, what do we have to do before we can take a big breath? What do, we have to, what do we have to do with the air that's already in our lungs before we take a new big breath? Breathe it out. We have to let it go. We have to let go of the air in our lungs so that we can then make room for new air to come into our lungs. And, um, and when you think about it, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Sometimes you can get the air out by tooting. I don't think that's the same air. That's different air. <laughs> but but, but that's a, it's a good thought. It's a good thought. With the air in our lungs, we get it out by breathing it out. And so, and, and when you think about it, it's actually, a, it can be a little bit scary because we need air to breathe, right? We need air to live. If we don't breathe, are we alive? No. So we need to be able to breathe to live. And if we don't breathe in, if we have to breathe out all the air that we have before we can breathe in again, we have to trust that there's air for us to breathe in on our next breath. We have to let go of something we need before we can get the next thing that we need. So in today's Bible story, I want you to keep that in mind, because in today's Bible story, we hear a similar thing happen. In today's scripture story, there's a man who asks Jesus how he can receive what God is offering, which is like this better way of living. And Jesus tells the man that he has to give away or let go of the one thing that the man thinks he needs so that he can then receive the next thing that he actually needs from God. Now, that ca sounds kind of like breathing because he had to, in order to breathe in the next thing that God was going to give him, he had to let go of the breath that he already had, except it wasn't breath, it was something else. So it was a really hard thing for him to do. It was so hard, in fact, that this, to let, for this man to let go of these things, that he actually gave up and walked away. We're gonna, I'm going to hang on to this for right now. Um, so he couldn't, he, he was so hard for him to let go of that thing that he couldn't let go of it, and, and he ended up walking away. So Jesus then tells his disciples that this is a really hard thing to do. Because they're like, why did, he that, why did that guy leave after you told him what he needs to do? And the guy left, and their disciples were like, why did he do that? And Jesus said, well, what I'm asking him to do is a really hard thing for some people. The disciples were like, yeah, we can see that that's really hard. How can anybody do this? And Jesus responds, for God, all things are possible. Can you say that with me? For God, all things are possible. So what Jesus means by for God, all things are possible, is that we are not expected to do things on our own. Instead, we're expected to ask God for help. And not just with big things, but also with small things. But in order to receive God's help, sometimes we have to let go of something else that we have in our lives. We have to kind of let out that first breath so that we can make room 
for what God is going to give us in that second one. And that can sound scary. And why I'm really thankful for stories like this in the Bible about Jesus that show us what happens when we actually ask for God's help and then we let go of our own stuff to make room for what God is giving us. So when we ask for God's help and we make room in our lives to receive God's help, then we can do the same amazing things that Jesus did because all things are possible to God. And that is our news for today. I'd love for you to repeat after me in prayer and invite the congregation to join as well. Dear God, God, thank you for Jesus. Jesus. Help us to remember remember that to live the better way that that you want for all of us it sometimes means letting go of things that we think we need so that you can give us what we actually need. We love you. Amen. All right. Thanks for coming up. And actually, after the worship, worship service, I want to invite everybody in the congregation. We have a snapshot station back in that back corner where we can explore a little bit more about what it means for all things to be possible with God.